some nice burps. All right, all right, all right. Let's go into the final game of this week's I Cast Your Freaking Awesome Replays, where people had to try and morph the unlikely couple. They had to use a very odd combination of units to try and win the game. Down here in the bottom right, I'm assuming this is the player who submitted this one. A beautiful, beautiful picture next to the Nexus, by the way. Not creepy at all. It is Gizmo. <laughs> this <is> fucking... <laughs> uh, do you like balls? Push just says, lol. Up in the top left, it's Push. So I imagine we're going to see some disruptors in this game from Gizmo. We've already got a probe going across the map. Uh, noise. Uh, pretty damn high APM from the Terran player. 60 APM from the Protoss. But, I mean, when you're proxying disruptors, you don't really need to do that much, right? This could be a pretty high-level game. Didn't I never look at the league? Or very rarely look at the league? No. <laughs> He's checking. He's checking for proxies. Smells. He smells a dirty smell. He's like, my opponent just asked me if I like balls in the first 10 seconds of the game. Yeah, 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 I am going to check for proxies. <laughs> He's actually scouted so early, though, that it's like, it's too early for a proxy to even be there. I guess if it was proxy gateway, it would be found. So good, good choice. Good choice by push. He's going for an orbital, starting marine production. And he's going to expand on the low ground. Best decision ever or terrible mistake? Let's find out. Uh, I mean, there's no robo down or second pylon. Like, there's no second pylon yet to, to build a robo out on the map. This probe's gonna be like, oh, fucking hell, he's still chasing me? So this probe's gonna try and sneak you out and go down the left-hand side. Okay, yeah, sneaks around the SCV. SCV's like, there's no Nexus there. My opponent's probably a douchebag. Still not, ooh, not building any Marines. Going for a tech lab, we might see Marauders. Marauders are really good for shutting down early pressure openings, get concussive shells, kill any stalkers, deal with the depths. Really bad against Immortals, but I mean, I'm imagining Disruptors. Oh, what Gizmo has planned here. It's taking fucking forever to get that pylon up, though. Oh my god, it's going to be so delayed. Push has a lot of time to prepare here, but Push not spending the money right now. I was going Concussive Marauders. Is it going to be a factory or more barracks next? Push here. It's still trying to figure out what the shit is happening. Sees the Nexus, which... I can only imagine is at least partially fake. Since we don't see any probes in production, we just see a stalker being chrono boosted. No warp gate research. You see, that's not spinning at all. It's like, yeah, you're not you're not interested in making any warp ins anytime soon. And a Stargate goes down. Gizmo. What is this, you disgusting foul creature? For those of you watching on YouTube, don't forget to get your replays in for next week. The challenge is diversity hire. We do have a slight break on IC Fire. We're moving to casting it on Sunday, EU NA time. Monday, my time. So we're moving it uh, to two days earlier in the week. Oh my god, shield batteries. You foul monster gizmo. This is disgusting. We've got a single stalker. Still nothing except that one stargate. <laughs> Ah, uh, Push is like, hmm, that base seems kind of empty. <laughs> Two Marauders and a Marine are going to go for a little pressure behind this. Going up to three barracks, a few more reactors, adding stim and engineering bay. Oh, man, Marauders don't shoot up, guys, and it's fleet big. It's going to be Tempests. There's fucking nothing at home, though. Might lose a lot of probes to this. I mean, probes can beat Marauders, but uh-oh. Uh oh, concussive shells. You can't leave. The Stalker's like fucking slow grenades. God damn. Marauders are going to come in. Going to try and focus down that pylon. Luckily, Gizmo had no intention of using that gateway. Oh, warp gate anyway. Oh my god, pulls every single probe. Run, Marauders. Just run. Just run. Holy shit. You stirred up the masses now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Who would win? 27 small children or two elite fighters in power armor? 27 small children, guys. All you need to do is give them tasers. Give them uh, the, the urge to passionately hug those fucking super soldiers, and, and that's what happens. Give me a hug, says Gizmo. I like it. Uh, meanwhile, Tempest's on the way here, being a bit of a douchebag. And uh, we've got more probes on the way as well. So probes do stop that push. We've got a turret at the front. Push is like, what fucking cheesy shit are you doing, man? Trying to build Marines. Marines are pretty good versus this, especially since Stim's already done. Have you got combat shields? 
You can just like stim on this and get rid of it. The problem is, at this moment as push, you're kind of gonna tend to panic a little bit, aren't you? <laughs> uh, the Tempest, of course, does two shot SCVs and Marines for that 30 damage attack. Right? Oh no, it's a 40 damage attack, isn't it? Yeah, I always get that confused, hey. 40 damage, because it does one-shot drones and probes. That's why it's so bullshit when they, they rock up when you're Zerg. It's so annoying, man. So, yeah, I'm wondering what the combo is. Uh, Twitch chat saying... Oh! Ah! <laughs> Gizmo! Oh, my God! Apparently, is playing on Florencio's setup. Has an Xbox controller. It takes a little while to select the Tempest with that, that little joystick and then tell it to move away. <laughs> Gets one Tempest snapped by the stim. Now, the funny thing here as push is all you need to do is just pull back. And the Tempest is going to have to come way too deep in your territory. You can go, like, land over there, mass marine. I feel like push has all you need to hold this. Gizmo's like, you like balls? You like balls? Push is like, yeah, I, I, I actually do. I I do enjoy a bit of the tea bag. I uh, also enjoy interesting foreign foods and local delicacies. I've eaten ox balls before. Uh, ostrich balls. Many different types. I enjoy them. Uh, meanwhile, Gizmo is like, damn it, I really wanted to get some rage. Like, I'm clearly a student of Florencio. You know, shit talking as the priority. Still not actually building any balls. He's just making Tempest one at a time off no other production. So, <laughs> uh, thankfully, Combat Shields has been forgotten. The, the number one upgrade that every Terran forgets when they're under pressure. And a supply block happens. Two depots just went down. There is a third command center on the way. But, uh, okay, Vikings, Marines coming down. Oh, are they going to get one? Another Tempest is going to fall. Just did a second stim. Uh, you guys ever do that? I do that all the time. Well, you've, you've just stimmed like three seconds earlier, but you're like, maybe it's about to run out. So you just hit it again for good measure. We have really got to run some anti-addiction classes, teaching people how to manage their, uh, their, their, their addiction to stim. Oh, my God. Um, command center is going to float out to the right. I do like that. Going to get some more minerals. Just needs to keep massing marines. This, like, there is... Gizmo has no business winning this game. Like, this is just such a, a lack of units that are actually good. The marines not quite stutter stepping underneath, and they aren't going to be able to reach the Tempests. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, <laughs> if push went across the map, there's nothing there. But, uh, bleeding so many units into this. and not using any medivacs either. Oh, gosh, that's painful. Um, finally, getting some income up. Has about 16 mules that could drop on this base as well. And uh, meanwhile, behind this, there's literally a mothership and nothing else on the way for Gizmo. Gizmo's macro is true Xbox controller levels. I love it. It's beautiful. It's like, we've got two bases up. We've got a mothership. There's no follow-up plan. There's no attempt to repower the Stargate. It's like, let's just mass cannons now around me base. <laughs> And take another base? The fuck is this the plan? <laughs> oh my god. Both Tempests have 11 kills each, by the way. <clears throat> uh, I feel like the red hit point one is Gimli. And the green hit point one is Legolas. Sits back shooting arrows like a bit of a cheap bastard. And then is like, oh, I killed more. I'm so much better. And it's like, yeah, the other one has an axe and actually goes into hand to hand. Like, how, how proud are you? You're a fucking elf with bullshit aim. And he's like, yeah, well, uh, I mean, I, I killed more. I'm better. Fucking Legolas, man. Cocky bastard. <clears throat> Trust fund elves always picking on dwarves, man. Cyclones on the way. More Vikings, more Marines. I'd love to see combat shields and some medevacs. We do have plus one attack armor on the way as well. Push. Uh, he's going to float down and take a third at the natural as well. I mean, just so much more shit for push right now. But very little map vision. And we've got two robos on the way. Is Gizmo's been talking about balls for so long. I mean, this better not be false hype. I want to see a robotic support bay. Instead, another Stargate goes down. Cancels it. Drops the robo bay. Is that probe trapped? Oh, no. It's a Ron Burgundy probe, guys. It's trapped in a glass cage of emotion. Unable to return those minerals. It's just fucking staggering around in this little box. Spilling milk over his unkempt beard. Groaning about how it's hot. Milk was a bad choice. No, he, he's not trapped. He was just fucking sitting there. Moron. Okay, it was, it was a moron probe. Never mind, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, the mineral patch mined out. That's what happened. Oh. Nice. Nice timing. 
Ron Burgundy does get freed. Uh, mass cannons on the third. And the slowest disruptor transition of all time. I, I just love this. 1,700 gas in the bank. <laughs> Two tempests and a mothership. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're seeing cyclones. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why are we building three factory cyclones? <laughs> ah. Oh, God. This is like every Twitch chat question ever about, I can't beat Tempests. How do I beat it? And I'm like, oh, no. Well, what you do push is you just build shit and you just A move. <laughs> Which is like, so you're saying I don't use the barracks that I spent all game upgrading and building up to and I instead mass cyclones? And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, just mass marines and go kill him. And they're like, Mass cyclones and Vikings? I'm like, no, 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 like just make bio and like move across the map at some point before you give him six hours to add disruptors to his army. Bush is like, so you're saying, you're saying that my plan of waiting till he has 12 disruptors, then moving in a ball into his balls and touching the tips of the balls is not a good idea? Oh my God. Oh my God. Move. Push. Push has no vision. No. No. Not just that, guys. The cloaking field of the mothership reaches about there, which means you're not going to see these disruptors <laughs> until the ball's in your face. Did the disruptor shots get cloaked? Does anyone know? We're about to find out. So I think we might see invisible balls reveal themselves at the last possible minute. Just like the specter of someone who's suddenly been given the superpower to turn invisible. You know they'd start doing some silent tea bags. Oh, drops the scan, drops the scan, drops the scan, drops the scan. You gotta focus again. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Instant rewind. Instant rewind. I'm sorry, guys. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. Instant rewind. Oh my god! He focus fires the first one, and then he panic move commands rather than clicking. Oh my god! Okay, alright, Gizmo is building it up this whole time. Twice. Twice. Two separate equations. He said in chat, do you like balls? Now it's it's good to see. He's, he's delivered on that promise of giving his opponents a taste. Does this classify as... Whew, I'll let Twitch chat interpret what that could have been. Um, okay, interesting. So we got Cyclones and Marines here. Some... Interesting. We got Magfield Mass Cycle. <laughs> Bio Cyclone. This is so fucking weird, guys. <laughs> and still massing Vikings as well. Like, but there's the Tempest is still being rebuilt, funnily enough, but it's almost pure disruptor. That's like 90% of the army right now. Now, Push here is gonna decide to move across this map and do some beautiful, beautiful uh headbutting into some disruptors. Like this base is going up. This is this is it. There is no sustained damage output from the Protoss other than the cannons. Terran's going to dive in there, try and take out these pylons. Focuses down one. Uh, does focus down another pylon. Still one there, but the balls are here. Uh-oh. 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 A few of those Marines do get taken out on the way out. A lot of Terran do fall there. Terran player moving forward. Trying to jump on the mass balls. Does some nice lock-ons. Oh my god. And tries to, once again, move through the balls in a giant clump. Uh, ooh. This is the equivalent. I, I, I gotta say, if, if this was literally... If we imagine this scenario through the metaphor of uh, a tea bag, So Gizmo is basically snuck into Push's bedroom, dropped trowel, and is slowly lowering the balls into Push's mouth. Now... What Gizmo didn't realize is Push was actually awake the whole time and has been preparing to counter this. Unfortunately for Push, Push thought the counter to this was to open his mouth and go, ha ha, you weren't expecting this. And Gizmo's kind of gone, huh? Has just continued to lower the balls in and is, is, is oh, are you going to bite? Is that what you're going to, no, you just still, okay, dips the balls in, wiggles them around a little and then withdraws them and, and moves on. And uh, Push is, I think, I'm hoping Push is starting to wonder if that's not the right strategy. Moving your balls forward in a giant, moving your army forward in a giant clump. Feel like spreading out before the fight or avoiding them might be a better issue, better, better idea. What, what do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe, but 
We do see Push once again, sticking here with the big clump of army. Uh, he's taking a fourth, so Push's macro has been on point. I, I'm enjoying Push's macro. We've got Thors on the way, we've got a ton more barracks. I'd love to see bases all over the map. And, you know, backstabs, counterattacks, multi-prong, coming in with a giant flank from two sides, all amazing ideas. But Push says, you know what, I think clumping up even more by landing the Vikings on the ground could be the answer. I think this could work. Open wide, says Gizmo, and this time Push, I think, has learnt the lesson. Does back out. No, 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 you get it. Oh, no. Oh, the Vikings do go in. But there's a lot of cannons and shield batteries there. You gotta, you gotta get out of there, Push. Oh, leave. Leave, don't, no, 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 leave. Leave, leave, stop, stop going in and, okay, there we go. All right, yeah, yeah, get the Tempest, get the Tempest. Does a scan, gonna get another one? No, the cannon's too deadly there. Push here, a little bit too indecisive. Um... <laughs> Please drop five command centers. Please. <laughs> oh, this is this is uh, tough. A uh, little tip, guys. I think Terran players very rarely have to deal with other people turtling as hard as Terran normally does. Use nukes. Wouldn't it be sick if there were just nukes coming down from all sides right now? That'd be sick. Push, unfortunately, still running around in a big ball, letting expansions go up for free up till now. Uh, and letting these cannons constantly get established. Push is gonna shove in. Where's the stim at? The stim does come down. Marines, it's a lot of units. If you pre-spread, you might be able to take this down. There's not that many disruptors. The disruptors! Oh my god, the Marines actually managed to move through the balls, but the second wave lands on their face and crushes them. The Thors actually take down all the air units, though. The balls took so long to land, that kind of worked. The probes try to join in. The Disruptor Tempest composition, this unlikely coupling, somehow still hanging on in this game. And Gizmo's up to 77 probes. I also love this. I've never seen Disruptors chasing Thors down before, but there's a first time for everything. Beautiful saturation spread, by the way, here from Gizmo. We've got eight probes on one mineral patch, three on an empty gas. Uh, 15 probes mining from four mineral patches on that base. Uh, the other one's actually looking all right. An insane probe count, though. Absolutely insane. And uh, how many balls we got? Just nine balls, three tempests. So yeah, this is uh, it's like one of those flails. You know, like the flails with the spike balls on the end of the different chains. It's like swinging one of those, but it's like nine, nine tails on it. Nine tails, each with a spiked ball on the end. Uh, Mass Thor coming down. Our Mass Thor wrecks tempests, guys. Unfortunately, balls are pretty okay against Thors. They're not like massacre level on them. But they will do all right. Now, Push has some pretty impressive macro here. I, I really would just be so excited to see units split up and attack from two separate sides of the map at once. But uh, it really does not feel like it's Push's MO. Push seems to be very focused on the, uh, the one directional, the one directional play. And I feel like letting these bases constantly get up and 36 cannons build on them, like yet again, scans it, finds it as all the cannons and batteries finish. And uh-oh, Cannon's in the front. He's going to try to break through, but this might be a little bit ambitious. The Disruptors and Tempest coming in from the back door. Starting to try and focus down the pylons, but uh-oh, Tempest from behind. Here come the Disruptors. Open wide. Open wide, Thors and Marauders. Oh my god, it's a disaster. Push here. Oh, even more balls coming in from behind. <laughs> ah. Oh, this is brutal, man. Oh god, Gizmo's out of control now. Gizmo's got so much money and static defense to work with. This is actually a legitimately difficult problem to solve. Even for a really high level Terran, this would be hard to deal with at this point. There's just so much static balls landing on the face of Push once again. You've got a flank. You can't come from one angle, buddy. It just makes it too easy for those disruptors to shoot. Oh my god, the Tempest count is overwhelming. Push has had enough. Oh my god, the units lost tab is going to be terrible. 10,000 units lost difference. <gasps> oh. Do you like balls? I know Gizmo does. I also know Gizmo is a big Florencio fan because he's still in the game. He's still dropping disruptor shots on production buildings. Stays in here. I'm on eight times speed, guys. Look at the timer. He's in here for another minute. Maybe longer. Yep, he's killing SCVs with disruptor shots. He's throwing disruptors at individual units. Stop stabbing the corpse, Gizmo. God damn, mate. It's 
really enjoying this. And finally leaves the game two and a half minutes after he's won. <laughs> GG well played to Gizmo there for an absolute travesty of a game. Um, push there with super high level macro, but unfortunately unable to solve the solution of the balls there. Oh, that first engage had such a big army advantage and just tried to run through the disruptor shots. <laughs> You feel like a god when it works, and it almost never works. <laughs> GG, well played. Uh, thank you very much for the support, guys. Thank you for sending in your replays. Don't forget to get your replays in for next week's challenge. As I said, we will be on the 12th uh, as we are changing the date. So a bit of a bigger gap between the next show, but get on it. Get your diversity higher replays in, and it should be a good game. Uh, thank you very much. We'll see you next time.